Aquava, and welcome to Expat Life Ghana. I'm Ayo, and this is Tony, and we're documenting our move from Texas to Ghana as we go beyond the return. In this video, we are live. What's up, y'all? How you doing? Yeah, we're live. We're live. We're live. We're live. We're um, talking about. We're talking about lies. Ghana lies. A recap from our last video for sure. So. Plus, we want to talk about some new stuff too, right? Yeah, yeah. We want to talk about um, holiday coming up and the uh, afro future and stuff so let's get this video started welcome to the show guys we're glad that you are here we have got a lot of comments off our last yeah our last our video last was live Woo! It was a lot, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I think there's a lot of uh, misinformation on Ghana getting out there, and we don't like that. Yeah, it it leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Yeah, it leaves a bad yeah, taste in yeah. the mouth. I think that's how I'll phrase it. Yeah, and I think I think for me, my biggest issue um, is if if you're going to badmouth Ghana, at least come to Ghana and leave, and then badmouth it. Don't not come to Ghana and badmouth it. Although we, I saw a video of people who were here and just made everything so salacious. There's so much drama. And I was like, well, you did that to yourself. That, that's not it. We that's try to you. tell people how to come to Ghana, enjoy themselves, have the greatest experience they can. We try to tell you, you a lot of people don't want to listen. You just have to listen. Well, that's okay. You're going to learn. You're going, going to learn today. We're going to break down some of the lies today. Um, real talk here with us because we don't sugarcoat it. We give it to you like it is. Yep. So welcome to the channel. For those of you who are joining us for the first time, don't forget, forget to hit the like and subscribe Where button. Where you been? Know, Just right? joined us. We do get first timers. I know. It's weird. It's like, yo. We almost were not here today. today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Power just came back on about um, 40 minutes ago. Yeah. Maybe. We were sitting yeah. like three hours, four hours. I was melting. Uh, it was horrible. No power. All of Tema, parts of Accra. Yeah, I was like, we are not. I mean, yeah, what we, were, we were just like, because there's no place to go to. Yeah, there's no everybody's everybody was out. Yeah, yeah, that was gonna be so. Lights came back on. Hey, you know that's Ghana. We don't complain. We just it's Ghana. Just gotta roll with the punches. Just that's right. So, punches. so we've got some folks here. Let's go ahead and say hello. Antonio Rodriguez, my man, is always in the comments. How you doing, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Nita Williams, hello. We are good. How are you? That is so small today on the oh, on the left let side. Me, yeah, let me um, make it bigger for you so that you can. Yeah, you know, can you see? older eyes. <laughs> and who's that? Uh, yes. Oh, oh, sorry, Mr. No, 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 you don't worry about it. Everything's cool. Around. Jabbar says he loves your shirt. Oh, thank you. You can find them. Um, our, on our website. Website. Oh, there's in the description box. The there's description. a link to the store. Link to the store. Get your shirt, Javari. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello, people. Hey, expert fam. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Re Regina Jones. Hey, fam. How you doing? Doomsore is back. Yeah, something like that. Right. Doomsore is back. Mm -hmm. Tony is always positive about Ghana. You're my favorite couple. I there appreciate is good that. Good and bad in every country. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Can you give us an update on your property, says Regina? We will. Maybe my face was the update. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Ladybug, how are you? Jeanette says hello. Hello. We've got some people in the house from Texas. What's Texas, up? Texas, H-Town. You know how we get down. Pretty, hey. I told, I told. Uh, 75th I told birthday coming up. And got 2025, hey, yeah, we'll be around. Yeah. 2025, that's like. A year and a half, what? Really? Really? a year really? and two yeah. months. Ghana will still be here. Yeah, I'll be here. Okay. You yeah. uh, know. See, we've got a first timer. He said, "Who's first?" first oh, first -timer. righty, here for the first time. Well, we welcome you on Papa to the channel. Uh, Antonio says he's doing good, but he got some bad news from his doctor. Antonio, we're hoping you feel better soon. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. And kind of a, hello, hello, hello from Arizona. Arizona. All right, I'm not going to. I'm going to Arizona. <laughs> I don't want to stay in the um, the comments too long yep. because I want to make sure that we have a chance 
do the talk. But before we get too far into it, what I would love for y'all to do is to jump into the comments and share with us lies that you may have heard about Ghana. Um, whatever lies that you have heard about being in Ghana, living in Ghana, moving yeah. to Ghana, we want to hear them so that we can tell you whether it's... Yeah, we want to hear <laughs> <laughs> hey, I heard this about Ghana. No, we'll tell you if it's true or not. Yeah. Um, but real quick, I just wanted to oh. give a couple shout outs. Oh, sorry. I never hit the shout out button. Go for it. Yeah. Just, oh, you know, yeah. You want to hit the shout out button? I, I, I will if I can find it. Go for okay. it. Okay. Uh, first, uh, Ms. Liz um, just left, um, what, what was that, Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that, Thursday. She was with us for a couple weeks. And I told her I would shout her out because she watches all the time and she's a great a uh, fan of ours, and uh, it was awesome to have you, uh, Miss Liz, and um, Sean and Natasha. They're in town with us right now. They are partying at Passions with um, Princess and Sarah, and everybody who knows Princess and Sarah from the Lodge, they're like, oh, wow, I wish I was there at Passions. <laughs> I know, right? That's so, what everybody says. What yeah. do y'all do over there? Uh, you have to go find out. But anyway, I uh, just wanted to shout out to those folks. I told them I would, and um, um, I don't think I was, I was like spotted. I wasn't. I was. I was. I was in a brief for a while. People was like, "Yo, man, we thought yeah. you left." I was in a brief for. But like, you were. You week. had some folks with you in a brief too. Yeah, I did. Oh, we, where? What happened in a brief? All right, no, that was Malachi, Deleem. You know, my my usual. Running buddies, you know, the guys who tease me with their Kentonka trucks all the time. Thank you, guys. <laughs> but uh, I know they're probably watching, like, yeah, we show new teach or, or uh, they uh, send you out with them, trucks. Yeah, they do the nice trucks. Yeah. Um, so, well, you had a good time in a brief. Yeah, there absolutely. Festival? The Adua, Adua, I'm saying it wrong, Adua Festival um, in a brief. Um, and the uh, 35th. Uh, the Dunbar celebration for the uh, 35th installment for the uh, chief there in the brief. And they had the parade of um, chiefs and queen mothers there. Oh, and I tell you, I had a good time. In the brief. I had a good yeah, time. you were showing me video and I was like, Telling you. too many people, Ooh. so much happening. Yeah, I loved it. Um, I think I just got my hearing back. <laughs> All the <laughs> gunshots and blasts going off uh, there. Man, in a good know. way, folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In in they shoot blanks, but you know when the uh, Chiefs are having celebrations or something like that, they you know shoot off blanks and it's, it was just going on like that. Some Fifty cows out there or something, man. I was like, woo! Just got my hearing back. So yeah, it was a pretty um, happening party. I heard there was a very very VIP uh, uh, appearance. Yeah, I was there. I mean, like one more V than you. Here and got oh well that was just the president the president all uh, rolled through um and uh, it was uh, nice to see honorable uh, Akufado there so yes absolutely it was a uh, major yeah. time in the brief so uh, if if you're like oh, I thought I saw Tony walking next to the chief in the parade that was Tony walking next to the chief in the parade that was me yeah um, so that was that this festival happens in <laughs> October. So mm -hmm. if you are planning a trip, October is a great time so that you come and enjoy the Ebury Festival. Yeah, It'll be as big next time, right? No, this was an installment. I don't know what it's going to be like well, next time. Either way, great party. You were there but for like it's, four it's, five days. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a week-long celebration. I, I caught the, the tail end of it because I had work and stuff. Yeah, you had a good time. You came back a little exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, we do have to... Um, we have to talk. Yeah. We have like our coffee talk moment here. Um, in our last video, we talked about a YouTuber who put out some content about Ghana. And maybe it felt a little misleading. Yeah. And I thought we did a good job of kind of like staying neutral, but yet giving our two cents. Yeah. But the comments were really kind of. Yeah, it was a really. Um... It's one of those videos that got a lot of people talking and it got a lot of attention, this video. So we wanted yeah. to. So there was one more piece of what was said in the Corporate Chunky video that I think was like nails in your skin. Like it just really like dug into you and I don't know why you just like, right? There's just like one little snippet. So we're going to play it 
let's play it and then we'll well it's actually two snippets i have to give the first one so that you got the context and then i'm going to do the second one so um we're going to go ahead and play that um this is corporate junkie okay so now you have these two heavy hitters the job creators and the um the workers your 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 workforce that wasn't going to happen now leaves you on the third pe the third star status the ones that really did make the move these were your unemployed african americans the ones that have already dropped off the the uh, labor market they weren't actively working in the labor market and when i mean dropped off the labor markets these weren't your w2s and they were not your 1099s okay so i'm going to I'm going to pause it there, and then I just want to give a little context before I let you yeah. have your moment here. So um, Corporate Junkie was basically saying that in 2019, when Ghana did the call for people to come home, right, with their uh, Beyond the Return, um, I guess, campaign, mm -hmm. he, he kind of was making the point that maybe there were three types of people who came. Wealthy, yeah. celebrities, you know, the posh to-dos. Um, and the came business and owners, they didn't really yeah. stay like they, yeah, they came like came vacay, to show, yeah. right? Um, and business owners kind of came for show and then they went away. Mm -hmm. And their middle class folks, working class folks who have nine to five jobs, um, they didn't come at all, they didn't come at all because they couldn't leave their jobs, like they couldn't take the time, they couldn't afford it. Kind of made it sound like to me, right? And then this third class of people who did actually come and stay were the unemployed. Sound like brokeny broke. Yeah, he's like the poor people. Yeah. Okay. That, so the poor people, the the black American poor people, came to Ghana and stayed and stayed. But Jay Z and Kanye West and Oprah and Vanessa Steve, Williams, all those people, none of those people. Hell. Came for anything? Just it was. He's saying it was just for show, but. The majority of the people I just named have houses, multiple <laughs> houses here. So he is off by a long shot on that one because those people, those big entertainers, those deep pockets you're talking about, sir, yeah, they bought houses here. They have houses they here don't. in Ghana. When everybody was looking for Kanye West um, last December, they were talking about he was going crazy and all that stuff. Dave Chappelle let the cat out the bag. Oh, Kanye West is in Community 12 right now. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> do you know what you're talking about? Well, I I I understand a small part of what he's saying. I Oprah, Jay-Z, yep. Beyonce, okay. all these guys did not move to Ghana. Mm -hmm. But they don't have to move to Ghana, right? It's like they they got they, houses everywhere. Right. This is the implication that like they're gonna pick one place, one home base, and that's it. They only stay in this one home base. It's kind of ludicrous. If I, if I had Beyonce money, I'd be all over the place. I'd have I'm several just houses. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like that it was kind of interesting because mm -hmm. we we did really see a big draw of uh Western folks coming to Ghana and really digging it and being mm -hmm. like, you know what? Right, of course. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get a house here so that I can come here whenever I want to. And I think we are still seeing pretty good celebrity traffic, like in and out of the airport, yeah. and coming into the coming in and showing up. You'd like, be surprised who's coming in and out of uh, Terminal One at Kotoka, Kotoka uh, International. Uh, if you don't know, Terminal One is uh, like the private terminal where all the well-to-dos the private plane come plane. in and out. Yeah, and man, I tell you, there's no shortage of people coming in those planes or that terminal. Really? Yeah. No shortage of high profile people. Yeah, and I would say you don't know what you're talking about, but dude, I don't know. I don't, first of all, I don't know any poor people that were able to afford the plane ticket <laughs> to get here. How well, is somebody on the point? I think that like okay, so the first part, let's can we say we've dispelled it? Like yeah. they came, they bought. Yeah. And they continue to come. Absolutely. So so I think we just felt that yeah, first yeah. class. Perfect, right? yeah. This I thought the second class was also equally as interesting because I was like, the implication somehow that like nine to five black folks can't afford to go on vacation because they're Africa. so stuck to their job and they 
I'm like, dude, that's all that that that's come. That's all that comes here uh, in bulk that I see on a daily. That's the biggest people. Part. Yeah, people with jobs who <laughs> taking time off, or people who just retired taking time off, or people who just have it like that to just come. But like this implication that that it was almost like for me, it was borderline like institutional racism. It was like the W twos and the ten ninety nine. They, those people didn't come. I'm like, wait a minute. Those are the people who can afford to come. Those are people who come with airline tickets being fifteen hundred just for the ticket to get here. Those aren't they no unemployed black American coming to Ghana. Not one. Well, that's the and third that's part, it. right? But this second part, I have yet the planes coming into Ghana every day, mm -hmm. like the daily delta that comes in every day from JFK. It never has empty seats. I am never on that plane. <laughs> like the nope. doors are open and it's like, oh, it's a half empty plane. That flight is full every day, people coming in from the United States. It just yeah. floors me that he thinks that W2 black folks in America and 1099 yep. can't afford to come on, on vacation. Ghana. And so they didn't come. So I felt like that was like. He wasn't so much saying that they can't afford. It's like they're so into their job and their life and everything happening there that coming to Ghana wasn't, they didn't even think about coming to Ghana. Why would they? What's the no, man, what is you thinking? So the third category is who he said filled the planes coming from the States. And that third category was the unemployed. Unemployed. Bruh. Bruh, come on, man. If you unemployed, you are not how are you going to afford the passport? How are you going to get your visa? I get the plane ticket. I get the plane like, ticket. The plane ticket is, and maybe you're unemployed, like early retirement. Is that? Is that no, he was like people. About? People who don't have jobs, people who have nothing going for them. It's like yo, man. Mm -mm. Yeah, I. They're the ones who answered that call. Yeah, stop. Yeah, well, so that is not the worst of what was. Said. So I do want to play this other section um, real quick of maybe his take on the folks that did come. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to head back over. This is Corporate Junkie. I'm just going to put his little thing down at the bottom here so that y'all know. Corporate Junkie. Big problem for the ones that answer the call who had very limited resources. Very, very limited resources. And that resources was quickly deplenished while they were there in Ghana. And the Ghanaian locals were not very welcoming. Forget what you're hearing. They were not very welcoming to these foreigners who were now in their land, eating of their resources and not contributing, which is essentially what happened. So now you have these 1,500 people who half of them have come back who did little to nothing to contribute, in, to contribute to the economy of Ghana in terms of tax injection, paying taxes or any other way. Whatever they contributed was minuscule, didn't really, didn't really uh, tip the scale because of the status of individuals that I told you came to Ghana. These are not your job creators. These are not your business owners in terms of real deep pocket individuals. So whatever they were coming in, it was not enough to really tip the scale. And so most of them really fed off and lived off the resources of the locals. And that is why. Lived off your, your eyes right now. It's like <laughs> lived off the resources of the locals and did not contribute through taxation. To the economy. Man, if you know anything about Ghana, nobody contributes to taxation in Ghana. Ghana doesn't, their tax scale is is off. You know, if you got, uh, you're paying pennies to the dollar basically on taxes here, um, thinking about housing and um, how taxation is here in Ghana. So well, the, I mean, there, like there wasn't a, a, a look for people to come to Ghana and, and help with, with financially that financial burden of taxation or however you, that this dude is I actually I disagree with you a little bit on that. Really? Yeah, I think that the idea that 
that tourists and Americans were coming into Ghana and not paying taxes is actually the most foolish of all. Yeah. Because the you know, the biggest source of tax revenue here in Ghana is not property tax like it is in the United States. Whereas in the United States, it's like when you really want to tax someone, we're talking about getting property tax income. That's a huge amount of the taxation that happens. Here in Ghana, sales tax, import tax, and the tax that is uh, added on to hotel rooms and rental, like these are very that, hefty parts of the yeah, taxation right. that are directly impacted by tourists coming in. A tourist so. goes shopping, sales tax is on there, 20 Five percent mm-hmm. um, air fly- coming into the airport, <laughs> especially during the COVID era. You were yeah. paying, yeah, and, and all kinds of fees. The young man said something about the the um, return campaign being a failed campaign. What he won't tell you is that that 2019 year, uh, uh, be, or yeah, return campaign. Uh, they got like ten billion in tourist dollars from that ten billion. So when he's saying it was a failed campaign, I'm like, well, how much did you want them to make? Because they were surprised they got ten billion. <laughs> that they made a ten year campaign called the Beyond the Return. No, it's called uh, it was the Year of Return. Year of Return. Now it's Beyond the Return. That's a ten year campaign. So what he's saying was a failed campaign. I'm like, well, it must not fail too bad because they stretch it out for 10 years. I don't understand what he's talking about. Yeah. It's like he is, as I understand it, in Houston or Texas, in Texas someplace from Nigeria. And he has a lot to say about Ghana. And I'm like, wait a minute, dude. (laughs) Well, he does pivot at the end of this video and say that's why Nigeria is better. And some of the things he was saying about Nigeria, I was like, whoa, man, nobody trying to go to Nigeria. Oh, like, don't start the I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't start that. Don't get an but I'm saying, you. as far as tourism, nobody's saying, "Hey, come on, come on to Nigeria." And there's a reason for that. I, I've, I've been told, "Hey, you can't go to Nigeria." Well, yeah, I mean, you can. Go. I, you can't go, but I don't have the security force to go. <laughs> there's a lot of corporate investing that's going on in Nigeria. I yeah, there is. Um, there's a lot of other things happening in Nigeria as well, and that's why we can't go. Yeah, well, I, I will say. Um, I think this whole line of reasoning where the poor people of America are filling up the planes and coming to Ghana and then, as he said, sucking the resources from the, from locals. the locals. And and those locals, they don't like us. They're not they treating like us it. good because we suck in the resources. That's Which terrible. is crazy because you know it's like <laughs> if you've been to Ghana, you know, what local gonna see you go hungry? If, if seriously, every time I see somebody sit down and eat, I don't care what level they're on, if they're rich or if they're poor, if they're sitting down to eat, the first thing they say to me is, "Oh, you're invited." Yeah, I just this this whole the whole thing was just I, it, it very much reeked of someone who has not spent any time here. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, I, I, I bless the brother. He's in America. He's living that American life that, you know, a lot of people from around the world want to go and live. But at the same time, you got to take that with a grain of salt living in America, being a black man. So I understand what you going through there and how great it must feel. But at the same time, man, there's nothing like having your mental um, freedom from from being in a place like America where you have to, where, where you can't be who you are. You can't be a black man in America. You have to be, you know, this other thing. You can't be like, I, I walk up and down the streets of Tim all the time. I travel through Ghana all, and I'm just, I'm just me. I can't be me in America. Uh, I can't be who I am. I can't just be that loud, talking, crazy, have a fun, dude. Because then people look at me, hey, them black people that are talking loud, there must be some disturbance, call the police. I can't do that there. So you, you can't, it's just too much to, to <laughs> That's a lot to unpack unpack in, this, in this thing. But well, it, it, the, the, he really, the, this is a two-part deal now. That's, we did the first video, we had to let that one simmer down, and we had to come back, and now the guy done 
you know, got me started again. I know. I could see you getting a little worked out. Yeah. I feel like. um, I guess, Let's get into the comments. Maybe it will. Yeah. I guess it's because, you know, I'm here and I'm like, dude, I don't see any of what you're saying. Where are you getting this? And it was like 1,500 people, four people came, and half of them had to come back. How did they get back? I had to go back to the U.S. Oh, How did yeah. they get back? What was it? The, the, uh, you can walk. President, I already president can walk. just giving out tickets. Hey, y'all, y'all came. Y'all didn't work out. He didn't take it back. How did they get back? You see that dude on the corner down with the funny shirt? Maybe that's the American. All right. Well, we got some questions to talk about. How could anybody poor afford the plane tickets to Ghana? Right. Uh Kwame says, this is really worth talking about, please. And I do think it is. And this is why. is because we sat and looked at those comments, and it was surprising to see how many people were misinformed. Mm-hmm. And and that's what I think we hate to see the most is like people who are like, wait, you know, looking in the comments of the video who are like, that's totally true. That's all, all right. He was so convincing. If you don't know, if you haven't been to Ghana, that you're like, oh, that's why I ain't going. They, look at him, look at him. They scamming, they're doing all. And yeah. he was so convincing. It's like, wait a minute, dude, mm-hmm. none of what you're saying is boots on the ground happening. We don't see any of that. The vision is not there, man. It's not. You wake up. So um, PY says, I listened to this junkie videos before. And it's all junk, yeah. Maybe that's where he got the name. Yeah, corporate junkie. It's just junk. <laughs> it was just junk. Um, and YPK says, uh, what's this guy's problem? What's his issue? What do I know? Yeah. Like it, 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 honestly, but it's like what you said, right? Where we see that because there's no alternative or um, contradictory information, People think that that's that's true. that's true. That right. okay, and, and like I said, you know, he came across very well spoken. He said some things that if you didn't know better, it just sounded legit. Yeah, and he made another comment about his his uh, um what word am I looking for? How, how uh, he should be taken seriously because he's. African and he knows what he's talking about because he's African and I'm like, yo, dude, you can't say that, man. Because yeah, there's yeah. like 54 countries in Africa and none of them are the same. You get a couple that are kind of close, but mm, you can't say I'm African. So you trust me on anything we're talking about African? No, I mean, I'm African. no. You can trust me. Don't no, say about no, because you know. Um, Mauritius Egypt is different is from different, Egypt, right, like, and <laughs> South Africa, Africa is different Morocco, from Nigeria. Rwanda and Kenya. Uh, like, yeah, it's like, come on, man. Tanzania yeah. and Chad are the same. No, you, know, these, bo- you know, all those cultures, the same. Come on, man. Yeah, no, those are like, those are like completely different countries. But he's African, so <laughs> he, he ain't talking about Africa, he knows. Well, um... We've got that, you know, that's like me saying, Hey, you know, I'm from the states, I can tell you everything about the states. I can't, yeah, I don't know how they live in California. That's crazy, millions and millions of dollars for crappy houses. Yeah, like I'm like, Yo, really? That same house, that's a million dollar house, you get that for 250 in Texas. Okay, well, so here, how about this one? Um, Wahala says, What businesses did Americans bring to Ghana? Um, I know some people who started a travel and tourism business and doing pretty good at it. Well, you know what? I will say this. I, I will say this comment. I don't think that the Ghanaian government made it easy for people who wanted to come and invest to do so. I think they may, may have missed an opportunity to get a higher level of investment and a better turnaround on that investment if they yeah. had I think they were taken adjusted the requirements. by surprise of the success of the return campaign and um they just really didn't know what they had they i don't think they still know what they have yeah i mean i I, I, I think they're just missing some some key elements of this campaign that would you know broaden people's thoughts about coming here um so well um this person also is commenting that he just meant that he thinks corporate junkie meant that people came with only enough funds to stay for one year and I'm like, yo, if you can come to Ghana and live for one year and not be working and not have an income, you ain't rich. That's yeah, wow, I know. That's, that's rich. Good. Like, I, I had to work. <laughs> I know. I still got to work. Like, wow. Oh, my goodness. 
Um, Regina says, who's this dude? Has he ever been to Africa? He's a Nigerian He's guy. He's a Nigerian. Yeah. So, um, he's been to Africa. Yes. I, I don't think he's been to Ghana, no, but he's no. been to Africa. A couple countries down, but, you know, over. Miss Williams says, haters gotta hate. Haters gotta hate. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, some Africans have been moving to Ghana since 58. I mean, even before 58. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, this is not a new thing. Yeah. I, you, you know, Ghana led the way in, um, African countries getting their uh, independence. independence. So uh, Ghana was was looked at as a leader for a lot of African countries um, during that period. And um, unfortunately, uh, their leader at the time was ahead of his time. And um, Kwame Nkuma uh could say something and just go over everybody's head and you know that's why ghana is where it is today because they had a progressive leader at the time but nobody understood the man they didn't understand well i i, I think and there were people who even then were say, seeing that um this was a new kind of wave a new revolution that was happening and were eager to come to ghana and and take part in this newfound freedom and the democracy that was established, and you know, the forward thinking of the leader. So as far back as Ghana's independence, people have been coming. Yeah. So thank you, Kwame. Yeah. Uh, is anybody forcing this guy to go to Ghana? No, but they should. No, I, I and personally, I invite him. Hey, couple come junkie, come on, man, come stay at the lodge with me for a little couple of days, <laughs> and show me what you're saying. Show, come here, show me what you're saying. You on my dime. You come no. You come to Ghana, and then on my time, <laughs> you get here, and then I'll, I'll treat you for a couple of days at the lodge. I ain't trying to, cause that's a. Yeah, I, we can't afford the airfare. I, I know, cause we just the poor Americans yeah. that came to Ghana. Wait, the poor no. That's I don't even know how to describe us according to him, cause no. we should have left already. Cause we're the poor. I know. We're, we're the poor. Oh, no, we're the poor. <laughs> Dude, funny. <laughs> Ladybug says, but, yeah. have to get a visa to get in. Like poor people well, now. Poor people don't all this stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been in, I've been into uh, I've been in Ghana three years now, right? And and uh, I was going back and forth with a cousin, and and he had to honestly tell me, he's like, "Cuz man, um, you know, uh, trip to Ghana. That's it's fifteen hundred just for the ticket." I was like, "Yeah," and he goes, "Man, fifteen hundred. That's that's like." Or five day weekend plus air air flight to um what do you say to uh Alcapoco or something? I don't know what he said, some Mexican place. I'm like, oh okay, I understand that. Fifteen hundred to get you a full five day weekend you know, really like, or fifteen hundred just to get you an airplane ticket to some place. You still gotta come up with hotels and food yeah. and all. No, I mean so, it totally makes sense. Ghana is not cheap. So not. I don't know how poor people are getting here. You're not. Um, the storm is saying, are you saying celebrities coming over? They're not the real celebrities. They're either mask wearing celebrities. She's saying like not real celebrities are coming. No, real celebrities are coming. Absolutely. Even like now, yeah. even like this week. Yeah. Real celebrities. Absolutely. Are coming. Like and, celebrities you would see in A-list movies. Yeah. And, and I'm not dropping names or anything like that, but you'd be surprised. Even just walking the mall, like a couple of months ago, I saw Shirley Ralph just walking the mall of Ghana, <laughs> and nobody knew who she was. But no. we, I was with a guest, and the guest was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> and I looked, I'm like, "It sure is." And we didn't make a scene or anything; just greeted her and kept on about our business. <laughs> but man, get out of here, man! People are here. Odie says, what is this dude talking about? How are expats living off Ghanaian resources? Do they have Ghana welfare? Yeah, they got Ghana welfare. It's called get your butt up and get to work. Ain't no, yeah. ain't, there's, no, there's, no there's no safety net. There resources safety net. here for people to, to be taking from. I, what, is, what does that even mean? Taking resources from the locals. You know, that one rubs me the wrong way, but uh, it, yeah. Uh, PY says, um, he says 80% of African Americans are Nigerian. Of African Americans are Nigerian. But Nigeria, unlike Ghana, did not invite them to be home because only entrepreneurs go to Nigeria 
and most AAs are not. You know what? I I think I argue with that too. Like yeah. we meet a lot of people here who want to be entrepreneurial. And again, I say, Ghana did not set the system up to actively promote and support those who are interested in investing in the same way that other countries may have. Mm -hmm. And that may or may not include Nigeria. I know Nigeria is doing a lot of corporate um, entrepreneurial endeavors right now yeah. that are really drawing investment. But people come here, they want it. They want to do those things. Like they, they want to make the communities that they live in better. They want to invest in entrepreneurial businesses that are able to support locals in terms of jobs and create revenue and follow all the rules. But yeah, kind of makes it hard. Yeah. I, I just, and uh, you know, in one of the um, comments uh, somebody made, I wanted to say, you know, um, what did it say? People who come to Ghana, from Europe and the, the states are supposed to help develop the country. If you can't do that, there's no point in coming. The thing on that is we're limited in what we can do to help develop the country. Um, a, a lot of people think, you know, coming here, helping develop the country is come here, give me some money, give me some money. And it's like, yo, that, that doesn't develop a country coming here being part of the system saying hey um how this is working is not efficient this is working against itself why don't you try this and see the result that's how i can come and help the country not just give you money give you money and i don't see any change i i, I tell people you know uh, the atlantic slave trade didn't take um, slaves from the west coast of Africa to the states and to the Caribbean and all that. They took doctors, they took uh, attorneys, engineers, um, the electricians. That's who they took. They didn't take slaves. They took people who are now in the states and, and they have skills. All those people with skills were to come back and now they have something to offer home. I have something to offer home. Hey, we need traffic engineers here in Ghana. Um, <laughs> we need some building engineers here in Ghana. Somebody we don't have to fix the damn road. There's, 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 uh, that's how I feel like Ghana's missing out. Is like, they're not calling for help. They're calling for dollars, it feels like. And, you know, mm. you can get the money and then, you still got the problem or you can get the help problem solved. Yeah. Because I mean, if you don't know how to fix the road properly or if you don't know anything about traffic engineering, you're still going to have problems no matter what you do. Yeah. It, 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 uh, <laughs> so um, we've got, um, I get it now, he has some affiliation with Nigeria. <laughs> Why do Nigerians uh, cause all the problems through that? I just would like to say, I'm 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 part Nigerian. She's so part Nigerian. Please don't talk bad about Nigerians, because you know, yeah. I'm Nigerian too. In yeah. fact, Io means joy in Yoruba. So just please, you know, it's not a Nigerian thing. I think this. I just, I, I just think that this this specific individual might not have as much experience in what Ghana's really like, and maybe is getting information that's outdated or yeah, I, I misinformation. I like to know where he gets this information from. Or if he's just looking on YouTube, hear somebody say something. Oh, they're treating people bad off that one video or something. Yeah, I don't know why. Why PK says, "How did he count become the so-called economic indicators that he's referring to?" Yeah, I just don't know. Hey, man, if fifteen hundred people came and then half of them are back. It's like, wait a minute, how do you? What fifteen hundred people? Like who? Yeah, I have no idea. This guy's not aware that 1.4 million travels to Ghana in 2022. Yeah, yeah, I know. And it's, I, I see the people getting off of the plane. I mm -hmm. see them. I see them. And it's not the, it's not the people who he says. It's the regular old people. Yeah. Who have regular old jobs. Maybe because you can't, I, you can't see the wealth. Is that maybe why? Is that the thing? Because like sometimes I'll be on a plane and I walk past, you know, folks that are getting off and 
and they look like they're very comfortable. They're traveling very comfortably. Maybe they're not like, mm -hmm. you know, all done up. Is that maybe they don't look wealthy enough because they're wearing their wraps and they're wearing, I don't know. Do they just not, they don't look the part? You're saying when you're at the airport, they look the part. They're coming off and you're like, yep, they got money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I just don't know. Unemployed are not traveling. Retired people who planned and are living their lives well. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. We a I get a lot of those. Uh, Abina says, don't even waste your breath. <laughs> Slap on a smile. Yeah. Uh, PY says he has an agenda. Gotch Ray, who's coming in next right week. Right next week. Stuff like this just um, harbors the division. Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah. Um, are you saying that the campaign was to improve tourism or business investment? The, the year return, uh, year return campaign? Campaign? oh, it's definitely for, for tourism. tourism. Tourism, yeah. There, there's a big, big deal of tourism happening here. Everything is yeah. focused on tourism here. And so. there was a huge influx of money based on the tourism sector, yeah, specifically so related to year of return. That guy saying the year return was a failed campaign is like, yeah, have been a Ghana huh, in the past four years, right? And I will also say that in terms of business investment. There was actually a lot of business investment made by Ghanaians because they were preparing and trying to cater to the influx of tourists that were coming in. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there was a, a boon to tourism, but business investment also. Yeah, because people were coming in and looking at, hey, how can we get some of these Ghanaian products in bulk over to where we are? And we saw a lot of people um, coming in uh, looking for bulk uh shea butter yeah. bulk uh tiger nuts um oh yeah the tiger nuts yeah, yeah um something yeah. else too so there's there's people coming in here like oh i didn't i can get this oh i can get that in bulk and yeah so that tourism dollar turned over to uh business dollars so yeah yeah absolutely. investment money man so Oh, Nathaniel Hawkins Jr. Hey, Nathaniel, you can come see me next uh, in April, I think. Can't wait, man. We're going to party. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> we appreciate that. Yeah. Should you expect the culture shock or many similarities with the West? You're going to be shocked to see the similarities <laughs> in the West. I think both. Yeah. You. Yes. I think both. I think that you are definitely going to experience some things where you're like, whoa. And then you're going to be sitting down, you know. Yeah, having the captain and think coke of, and sitting, you know, in the AC. Yeah, watching yeah. Think of it like if if you, I tell people why I'm so comfortable here. I, Ghana is like Mississippi or something, you know. Mississippi got a real nice, um, capital city, and then you got towns and stuff with just dirt roads through them. It's like that. Where if you from the south, you can you can deal with Ghanaians, Ghana. Easily, if you've been in the South, lived in the South, you can do Ghana. Yeah, or if you if you like camping. Oh, Brian Jockery, <laughs> tap the thumbs up, show some love for us. Yes, please. And hit that like it. button and subscribe right now. Where's that little kid with that? Um, I should play the little kid with that. Uh, AAs are bringing work to Ghana, especially in the home building sector. Absolutely, mm -hmm. I have a cousin who lives in Ghana. He says that things have got to be very expensive there. Yes. So you can't uh, be broke and live there very long yeah, yeah. You, can't, you can't be broke live here at all do you remember it, do you remember that guy with that the 200 dollar guy you and he was like i have 200 dollars. can you suggest a place to stay for the next month while i'm in i i haven't left america yet he's like planning yeah. on coming and yeah. he only had 200 dollars. and now yeah work it what should i do stay where you at bro <laughs> that's literally what you replied <laughs> <back. Right>. you, <laughs> you do not want to come here with just two hundred dollars thinking that's going to carry you through the month yeah mm -hmm. you ain't gonna make it you ain't yeah antonio's always in the live <laughs> yeah, antonio is always yeah you gotta work with it oh. thank you what did you miss um it was just talking about the last video and this dude popping off at the mouth man i was gonna have to tell some people in houston to go talk to him but my wife talked me down uh, Marilyn says, I need to connect. If someone needs to connect, what's the email? Hello at expertlifegarner.com. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hugh, why do they think that all black people from the West are rich? Because we all live on because, credit there. Because you are rich. I'm, huh? Americans? They're rich. Aren't they all rich? 
Yeah. Well, I, th- we're we're dispelling that that rumor because um, they don't understand the credit system that we have there. They think you know all our cars are paid for, like all their cars are paid for. They think all our houses are paid for. I'm like, no, we got a mortgage system. It's like, oh, what how does that work? I told that to somebody once here, and they were like, oh, Americans, you're all rich. And I was like, you are richer than I am. And he yep. looked at me and he was like, wait, what? And I was like, me? I'm in debt. I'm hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt because I have a mortgage and student loans, and I'm still paying them back. You owe no one. Everything that you have is yours. Yep. Why do Americans work so much? Because if they lose their job, what's gone? Their car is gone. Health they insurance. Lose everything. Your house is you're gone. Done. You got... Here, if you lose your job, you still own your house. You your your house. house is paid for. Still got your car. Still got your car. Your car is paid for. Just so might not put gas in it, but you can at least do it's something. It's there in the driveway it's on any, oh. but it's yours. Yeah. Not funny. Yeah. Um, Ghana's the most uh, visited African country since COVID nineteen. Yeah. Um, Nini says the hotel business is it's booming. booming. You and and right. if you, if you see the luxury. Um, apartments that are being used for airbnbs here um they are just one after the other opening one after the other opening um we've got a question thank you for the super chat we appreciate that where do you see ghana in five years in terms of development um i think the next five years are going to be very critical as we see ghana as well as other countries not only in africa but throughout the world kind of try to come back from the COVID-19 lockdowns and the impact of global um, war efforts. So I, I personally think like it's not going to be clear how things are going to go because mm-hmm. there's a lot up in the air right now. But if right now is an indication, I think that Ghana's going to continue to develop. Like there's just no doubt in it. It has a track record. And in light of all of the challenges that are going on even right now, we see development through the roof. Like they're still yeah. investing. There's still businesses mm-hmm. that are starting up. They're still building uh, of residential and houses. So I still think like development yeah. is clear. Yeah, and and with um, an election coming up next year, um, it's it's kind of hard to say because you don't know the administration that's going to come in. <clears throat> Excuse me, and it's kind of hard to see where they're going to start from where this current administration ends what they're going to do different how they're going to invest in ghana and and its people so it's kind of hard to say right now but you got to stay positive and just hope that the next administration is going to look at more into um developing the infrastructure here so um five years in terms of development it, it, it's really up to the next um political administration that comes in yeah, I, I agree with that. Um, my experience is that regular people from other countries don't understand the middle class in America and how how it's... How yeah, it's, yeah I, I totally. Um, Marilyn says her Soros sisters and husband just left after their second visit to Kenya and Ghana and have done their work to retire here. Well, Absolutely. And if you've done your work to retire here, you're not coming broke be broke. Hey, B.W. Sampson. Yes. Head to Tanzania. Yeah. Um, but love East Africa, of course. Yeah. Wahala just likes to stir up the trouble. But mm-hmm. Wahala wants to know if you name another business brought to Ghana besides YouTube. By the way, I don't think YouTube is a business brought to Ghana. Yeah. I mean. And YouTube, so everybody know, you have to be very, very successful at YouTube to make money to live off of YouTube. Um, like, we are not YouTube successful. As far as making money off of it, like you want to quit our job so we can just live off YouTube? Yeah, we'll be headed back Living to the United States. <laughs> like, like, oh, look at Tony and I. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, see us on somebody's <laughs> ship on the back of the rudder. Hopefully, just going to the States, y'all. Yeah. No, um, I, I don't know why people think that, like, all these people are coming and they're YouTubers. YouTubers. And so like, YouTube doesn't make money. That's not, that's not a, way for you to make money you, you have to really 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 yeah. like what in maya the other guy's five like million subscribers well, yeah. he can make money off the of youtube but regular folks you know we we this is not it's really a money making venture for us it, it really isn't um 
favorite expat couple. Hey. I, I but what, what, what was that question, though? He, he, Can you name another business other than YouTube and tourism? We just talked about the hotel industry well, building. We well, talked about the construction industry being yeah, added. Imports they, and exports have increased. Sorry, did I just roll over you? Yeah, they um they need more um uh, uh flatbed trailers here, um tractor trailers. They need more of those and more drivers and vehicles. But I'm, but I think what he's saying is that what was the benefit of what business benefit did the return events and the year, you know, the year of return events bring other than to tourism and YouTube. Money. Well, well, it was like you said, tourism, the hospitality, yeah, and the restaurant sector, all that stuff shot up. So, yeah. And it's still, and you walk, go to walk outside, Tema, and you see a new place opening. Just look at what's happening in the community 11 there. Oh, I mean, just look it, at the, look, look at the new Malcolm. Here. Oh, like, and it's like, oh, ooh, like, wow. like the Walmart Malcolm. I know yes. Walmart is not here, but if you haven't seen that video where we go through the, the Malcolm store, it is mm -hmm. a Walmart. <laughs> uh -huh. um, took the best and the brightest and made them slaves. Mm -hmm. huh. Has he checked the number of Nigerians living in Ghana? Actually, did you know what? The number one country represented in Ghana in terms of foreign residents is Nigerians. Are Nigerians. Mm -hmm. I see them coming off that plane all the time. I'm like, wow, it must be nice here in Ghana for all the Nigerians to be coming in so often. Yeah. Uh, Brian says uh, Americans and Europeans are retired and living in Ghana do so much to help develop the country um, and support their families overseas. Yeah. yeah. Ladybug says yes, but the roads are bad. Mm. They are. <laughs> yeah. They well, are. It happens. <laughs> BW says, why aren't you shouting out my comments? Have you forgotten all about me? No, we have, we just, I was, I just said your name. I just said your name. <laughs> I think I'm behind in the comments. I, I think I have to, I have to catch up. Well, maybe I'm going to skip this whole batch in the center. And if I skipped one, that. Uh, somebody's asking, it's 10,000 good to move. Yeah, it's good to move here. You'll get here. 10,000. What you trying to do with 10,000 though? Because that's not going to last very long. Just saying. Got, uh, Kwame says, hey, Ghana is bankrupt. That's why the IMF package is coming, because the GDP debt ratio is at 93%. Screw that. Mm -hmm. But uh, also, the United uh, States has the highest level of debt that they've had I, in the history of the country. I, yeah, I was going to say, you know, hearing that a country is bankrupt doesn't necessarily mean like the crap sitting the fan in that country. So, um, nobody here is panicking. Yeah, I mean, I think that is a an indication of mismanagement in terms of political leadership. But what ought not to be forgotten is that Ghana is rife with lithium, oil, cocoa, gold. shea butter, gold. Like I, honestly, it can't go. Yeah. It, so it, <laughs> it can be uh, mismanaged. Right, but it's but it's. It can't it can't go broke and it's on a port i mean like if you're playing the the world game of monopoly you pick on it it's got all the things Damn for dying. somebody wants to know samantha wants to know how to open a bank account and it is a foreigner bring your passport and your non-resident id card to a um local bank and some money oh and bring money <laughs> and they'll ask if you want a dollar account or a cd account hey agnes it's been a while yes it has Kwame well, says the next administration is going to have to pay that back. You bet you, they sure are. Um, did you hear about the 140 million U.S. debt judgment to the U.K. that Ghana owes? Yes, that was uh, the story this past week. Uh, Deb says, "Hey, good to see you." Me. Kwame says, on tours. Oh. "Oh, sorry, I'm kind of like trying to catch up here." Spending in Ghana tours. Yes, foreign to foreign tourists are. Sustaining the weak economy. I wouldn't say no. It's not just tourism that it's, is. I don't think so either. Yeah. Um, Kwame says three million Nigerians in Ghana. I don't know if it's that high. Could be. You need about fifty thousand views each week to make it with YouTube. See? Not true. I don't know. I don't. The the algorithm from YouTube is based on where your viewers are located. And the um, the sector that they come from. So, unfortunately, talking about Ghana and getting 
views from outside of the United States, you won't make it on 50,000 views. Just saying. Uh, met a bunch of Nigerian drivers. Cab drivers. drivers. You Ubers. 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 It's time for me to go to bed. <laughs> okay. Well, so I love that you guys are all in the comments. Um, I want to jump into some of the other stuff that came up when um, we were reading through comments. So let me pop in and do that. Uh, if you have lies that you've heard about Ghana and want to drop them in the comments now, we would appreciate that. Coming right back. Join the conversation. Drop a comment below and let us know what you think. It wasn't. It was like nine months ago, but wow. it looks so different. Okay, so here's a couple that we got. Um, racism in Ghana is so bad against whites. And as a point of fact, this comment said, Whites in Ghana are treated worse than blacks in America. I was like, what? Whites in Ghana are treated worse than blacks in America. I'm like, do you know how blacks in America are treated? So I'm going to chalk that up to lies. <laughs> um, whites in Ghana are treated badly? Like, no? No. Nope, don't say that. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a straight up no. I don't even I don't even think I have to validate that one, do I? Okay, so that was something. Just, Some a, things, you know, just yes, yeah, move along. Ghanaians are blue black. Have you been to Tabale? No, like there's Ghanaians who are lighter than me. I, not all, but no. there's a couple. I was like, yo, man. Yeah, it's 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 all your middle name thing. darkness. I mean, it's a. It's a country that's near the center of the earth. And so, yes, we, there are people who are darker dark. because it's, it's, <laughs> yeah. mm. it's the center. But you have to remember that, like, when you talk about complexion in Africa, you're talking about people from Middle East all the way through and down, like, mm -hmm. to whites in South Africa. the rainbow it's coalition everybody. happening here. Everybody. Healthcare in Ghana is horrible. horrible. It's not horrible. No lies told there. No, it's not. It's not horrible. You can have a horrible experience. Yeah, but I would say overall, uh, I'd say maybe the the government healthcare, but the private sector is coming, coming up pretty up. good. It's improving. Mm -hmm. I say that slowly. Everyone is out to rob you. Yes, but they won't tell you that. <laughs> you confirm that one. Everybody, everybody's not out to rob you. Not everybody. Like everybody's not out to rob you. Just everybody you meet, and you are going to meet everybody. So everybody's not out to rob you. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. I just go back to what uh Sam, Sam you know. That's... What does Sam say? Because not everybody knows what Sam says. Sam that's is an is an almost plus, ninety, yeah, you know, know almost ninety year old. Uh, Ghanaian man spent yeah, yeah, time in the U.S. came back. And Sam says, "Don't trust anyone. I don't trust anyone." It was like, "Don't trust him, her." He punched us <laughs> like, "Don't trust her." He pointed to his wife and his kids. Uh, it's like my mother was here right now. I wouldn't trust her. I'm like, "Damn, Sam, what, what happened? Who did you wrong, man?" So, wait, what do you say at the end? <laughs> he said, "Sometimes I don't, I don't even trust, trust myself. myself." I was like, "Whoa." <laughs> But he kind of has a point. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, yeah. so now everybody's not out to rob you, but but okay, we'll move on. Um, Ghana, it, it's war torn. war torn in Ghana. I don't even know what that means. War torn. This is what no, like no wars here. Come on, dude. No, unless you're talking about the constant battle of. The potholes we got here. Pothole versus car. That's an ongoing war. Yes. Um, so no, that one's a no. It's it's so easy to date and find a spouse. Hmm. Nope. Dating is horrible here. I got about five or six proposals for a second wife. It's easy. Just walk down the street. Hey, I want to be your second wife, lady. I don't know you. Okay. Yes. If you if you got a blue passport, you got a blue passport, you can find like it's not hard, even if you are not cute and not nice. And but if you not anything, like want to 
do serious dating. Yeah, and, then it's hard. It's if you're challenge. like, yeah. Um, and the biggest complaints I hear from the ladies are like, they're already married. They already married with kids and they're out trying to date. Um, they want you to pay for all of the things. And like, they just kind of, and. So it's hard to date here. Yeah. But you're going to get proposed to but unless you, know you are but a ugly. No, even if you butt ugly, you get proposed to. I think those are all same dating challenges in the States, aren't they? Like women in the States are always talking about like, oh, he don't have a job or, you know, he's got 75 babies from 65 mamas. I mean, like, you know, dating is hard. I don't think it's any easier here, though, for sure. All Ghanaians want to go to America. When I was here in 2019 for the year return, Elliot, I asked Elliot that. I was like, so you want to go to America too, huh? He goes, oh, no, 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 bro, no, uh-uh, no. I'm like, really? He goes, yeah, yeah. We see the videos now. I'm like, the videos? Yeah, the police videos. Mmm. 2019, they were watching the, who, who, the latest black man get murdered on video. So I'm like, yeah, I'm good right here in Ghana. No, thank you, America. So, uh, yeah. The, that, a lot of people started paying attention to what was happening in America with racism still. And they're like, yo, they still on that? Mm -mm. I've actually encountered more people now who will be like, oh, you know, I want to go to America. I'll be like, why do you want to live in America? They're like, no, no, no. I want to go and visit so I can see what it's like. And then I'll come back here. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh. Uh, the whole okay. thing of going to stay now? Mm -mm. Uh, that's not to say that people don't want to go to America. Right. Uh, but this idea that like every Ghanaian person is just yeah, trying to get out. Not everybody's trying. That's that is not. Everyone is so nice. Yes. You know what? Yes, people are nice here, but no, they are not nice in grocery stores. Or when they're waiting on you at the restaurant. No, no, in the grocery stores when you stand in their line. And you look this way, and somebody try to come from your right <laughs> and stand in front of you. He's like, "Hey, I was here. <laughs> we were at the grocery store, and we were standing in line, and you literally were like, and I was um, like, what? What? He's like, you see these people coming? Get you oh, behind yeah. me. Oh, like, wow. Oh my God. That's one thing I do, you know, hey, if I'm standing there, and you see me standing, don't come and stand in front of me. And He's like, push me in. I, like the in. people trying to jump in front of us at line. I don't know what's wrong with these people at ShopRite. <laughs> Woo! You better keep up. I, better keep just, up. I'm just telling you, hey, that's the only time I experience people not being nice in a driving once in a while when you get at the roundabouts. The roundabouts and at the, the checkout line at ShopRite. That's the only time I experience people not being nice here in Ghana. Okay. All the food is so good. I think the food is good, uh, yeah. but the the Ghanaian cuisine is built upon garlic, ginger, and tomatoes because that's yeah. like that's the that's what's here. That's the bounty. So you can start to feel like things are kind of one note. Yep. But all the food is so good. I, I can tell you the food that I eat is so good. I don't eat all the food here. Um, there's one particular food that I stay away from. In particular, um, it, it's so stupid too. Okay, um, the smell of goat meat, and they were like, it was like castrated goat or something. I was like, yo, man, what is that? The yeah. castrated goats smell different than the regular. Goats. That's I why. Yeah, so I. I won't. I'll try not to go. As soon as I, not hungry. Thank you. I'll pass. Oh, yeah, it tastes I, I, good. It's no. It's like, it, like people who don't eat chitlins. When you smell chitlins, you're like, man, I am really not hungry. Kind of like that. <laughs> like, ooh. don't know what's for dinner, but I'm good. I just ate. Really, I just ate. Uh -huh. Um, it's all bush outside Accra. It is. We're in the jungles right now, Tema. I think people only ever really hear about 
like across, 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 across. like Kumasi. That's Hale, all. That's all in, in the Facebook. Where, yeah. where you posting? Oh, across, across. Cape Coast, Takarati. Like, there's a lot of cities. There, they may not all be Accra yeah. level, but you know, yeah. it's not all bush here. Although that being said, you just got a message today that somebody was like, "I heard Kumasi is a vibrant modern city." Country. Country. They called it a country. A country. So like, make sure that you do your research before you decide. Yeah. Uh, although Kumasi is a vibrant it is. city, it's not a country. Yeah. Everybody um, is poor. Every I don't even know what poor is here. Uh, I don't know what poor is. Because like a couple months ago, a family that I thought, you know, were living and squalor, just didn't have it or whatever. They they sold their land for 140,000 US dollars. A piece of land is 110 by 100 um, plot in Community 6. Yeah. There was, I, I'm serious, they, there was in a shack, no plumbing, no electric, but they sold their land for 150,000 US dollars. Oh, like, wow, man. Yeah. I, I, I think that also feeds back into the credit thing that we were talking about before, mm -hmm. right? Like when you look at someone, you might think by looking that they are not wealthy. Um, but the yeah. standards, it's, standards of living are just it's, very it's different. Like, it's like the guy, remember the Community 3 house? Yeah, we go to look at this house. Lou literally wants to. What is going on? Why is this dude sitting out there? We was, get out of the car and he's the owner. Yeah, dude got holes in his shirt. Just look at. And I'm looking at these bills. I'm like, yo, he must be the, the caretaker or something. And like, hey, I'm the owner. This was the owner. And, you know, the okay, realtor wow. was talking about a story that had just come from the, the bank or something. It's probably and not like a person. Bringing like money. hundreds of thousands of, <laughs> you know, CDs in some rickety old little. <laughs> Kitty purse. <laughs> no, it was funny. Click this and you know this man we were looking at was a ten bedroom house yeah it's three three, ten, three three million dollars worth of property and and dollars other buildings that he has and I'm like and that was just one of his right I'm like, looking at him and hole in his shirt Hello Kitty purse not a new one either y'all this was like so everybody's poor everybody looks. Poor. No, everybody does not look poor. Right. No, everybody. Look at us. No, I can't say that. I, I don't even know. Everybody is not poor here. No, but mm -hmm. I will say that the poverty rate here is quite high, especially with recent spikes of inflation. Mm -hmm. And so we cannot also discount the fact that there is a large sector of the population that lives at a very low poverty level. Um, so I don't want to, I don't want to dismiss that comment altogether. Yeah. Like, so, so there we go. All right. Who? Somebody wanted to know this one. Are y'all getting paid to romanticize Ghana? Yep. Waiting we, for that check. If you could show it to us, that would be great. Yeah, I'm waiting on that check to come. <laughs> I, I, we got kids to feed and stuff. Yeah, nobody's paying us to say anything about Ghana. Nobody. Yeah. Ricky says, if you are in a queue, you snooze, you lose. <laughs> I know Ricky knows. He probably wanted people to jump me in line. Oh he man! Oh. But we are not getting paid to romanticize it. One mom, one cat, one suitcase says, "Totally agree with the shop, right? Got to be quick about it. Yeah. No joke." Um, Truth Serum wants me to know that the center of the Earth is inside of the Earth. Thank you so much. I well, appreciate. If you're at the top and you're at the bottom, what's in the middle? Oh, oh, I, I, was, I said smart as in not very smart, but the, I ain't caught. No, YPK saying. wants to point out that Ghana is actually the center of the earth by longitude and latitude. Yes. Thank you. And Tema is the center of the earth. Yeah, Truth says it's nice to see your face. So there we go. Um, mm -hmm. LaBelle is education, a school, a viable business. There are so many schools. Yeah, there's another. It depends on what you offer. The, the, uh, in Tema here, Committee 3, there's a new school opening up, an uh, international school. 
Yeah, there's like I want to go talk to those people so they change their name and seem a little more no, I didn't like the name. professional. <laughs> um only very Ricky says only very rarely have they met someone who simply seems to dislike them because they are white. And and Ricky's a white guy. But it, it but you also sometimes don't know is it that they don't like you because you're white or they don't like you because you have money. Yeah. Because there's a little bit of that too, right? Um, the idea of whites complaining about racism is a little rich. Huh. Agreed. Um, I lived off and on in Ghana since 2011. You will you will be treated differently. You can't walk down the street without being hit up for money more than a uh, little wood. wood. Is that yeah. racist? No. That's classist, man. Yeah. See, Rick and I have a you different problem. You need a Hello Kitty purse and a shirt with a little hole in it. <laughs> yeah. Rick, Ricky almost suggested just go outside looking a little off. Like, People are like, well, I ain't gonna approach that dude. There's something not right about him. That's what I do. I'm going out wrinkled shirts, mismatched clothes. I should go out with two missing two shoes that don't match one day. Let's see how that works. It's easy to get someone to scam marry you. To scam marry? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. They want you. They want that blue. Ha uh, ha! Everybody's laughing at your stuff. Uh, yeah, you, you're funny. Oh, thank you. Uh, people are nice and welcoming there. Yes, they are. Um, somebody says they like Chitlin. Yeah, oh, my goodness. Goodbye. Uh, yeah. Shout out from Katie, Texas. Um, oh, hey, Katie. Te oh, I know who lives. That's my Tia. Hey, Tia. Love you. Uh, BW says tickets on Delta for Ghana in May of 2024 are going for 2200 plus. See, the poor people can afford $2,200 to come here. Didn't they do a thing? They were like, most Americans can't afford a four hundred dollar emergency. Like a four hundred dollar emergency will break most Americans. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty two hundred dollars. It is. It is so high, right? But now. you know what else, though? There are more airlines applying to fly directly into Accra from other places now. So uh, Ghana's hot right now. Airlines are picking up on it because more airlines are coming here with direct flights. Um, yeah. And more airlines are trying to go directly to Kumasi now, now that Kumasi has the international um, uh, airport. So Ghana's yeah. five years. Yeah. Ghana's going to be different. Um Somebody's cooking out in Abbeville. Oh, then Abbeville. Oh, oh, uh, Maple and um, was, and and Al Mildred are there. And I know that was me because they're in Abbeville, so that means somebody is on a grill. You just you just not nice telling him that. Wow, yeah, for real. That's just that's my people from uh, Texas. They over in Louisiana and Abbeville. Simply oh, Nell cool. wants to know if she's she's a therapist. Would opening a private practice be a solid entrepreneurial move? What kind of Therapy, like mental therapy or physical therapy. I, I, I just, I, I still contend that Ghana does not make it easy for you to open and start a business here. Mm -hmm. So, and while almost any idea is a good idea because there are expats and um, not just American expats, but like there are people from abroad who live in Ghana who appreciate those services, it's still very difficult to make it all happen. Mm -hmm. Well, Hollis says, are you guys living in a gated community? <laughs> we got a gate on the wall? That's a yeah, it's it's gated, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Why do people think that we're like... Yeah, we are not those people not, who, no. who came to Ghana and we live in like 325 or one of those gated African-American communities or something like that. Mm -mm. That is not it at all. All. Yeah, we we live. We just integrated ourselves in the system. And... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So oh, no, we do not live in a gated community. We got a few more lies. Ghana is cheap. Cheap if you're rich. I cheap compared to bowling out in Dubai. Tony gets mad at me every time we go shopping and I get a receipt because I complain about it. I I literally complain about every receipt I get because I can't figure out how the tax rate the sales tax rate can be so high you're like i buy something for 300 cds and it's 400 cds at the end 25 percent sales tax there's no cheap yeah there's no there's no cheap i've been told that there's a lot of corruption so you need lots 
of bribe money. What are you doing that you need to bribe people? What are you doing? What illicit acts are you doing that you got to bribe people to be quiet about? Bribe people to, I don't know what you're bribing them for. I don't think Stop I, coming here contributing to the corruption. You won't have to bribe people. I don't think I. I, I not know that. I only I only had to bribe that one time. I did something wrong though. I don't I, I don't even know what y'all talking about bribes and stuff. Y'all stop doing that stuff. Tony says <laughs> that something will either take your time or take your money, and so you should choose which one you're willing to part with. Did I answer that question? I think so. Uh, Ghana's in the news about increased tourism and more flights to Ghana. Yep. Yes, absolutely. Ah, oh, I feel like we've gotten through all the lies, right? We've gotten through all the... Yeah. Delicious. Whew. Well, with that, let me... Hi, I'm Leo. Subscribe right now. That dude. Oh, okay. right now. Right by the we made it. We made it to the end. Uh, yeah. You you have a couple things still that you wanted to. I have to um, get my little things to come out of the way here. Yeah. A couple things you still wanted to talk about. Yeah. Real quick. Um, it is the end of October, which means November holiday is starting. So what what the biggest thing happening in Ghana? Afro Future, December twenty eighth, twenty ninth. Can we see that here? You got it. Yet? Yes, I have it. I am putting it up right now. All right. Um, headlining, um, um, you are all Afro, about going to this one. I'm right? all about going to the Afro. You already talked about just it. Don't know. <laughs> um, uh, Black Sharif, Jay Hoos, and headlining is Davido. Uh, so you know, Nigerian, um, um, uh, artist there and uh, Jay Hoos. So I think he's from, um, the UK and Black Sharif. Well, that's Ghana right there. So uh yeah, I'm so looking forward to this. Um Afro Future uh is is this year. Um we got a couple people in the lodge thing with us. So we're gonna do like the Afro Future thing and then the first uh you got New Year's. Oh wow, holiday. If you're coming to Ghana uh December, um it's party time. It's party time. Yeah. It's, it's Ghana cheap. No, Ghana is not cheap. But if you go you, to spend you're, your money, you're about to find out in December. You're like, dang. Everything. I had to put the second mortgage on the house just to go to Ghana and party. Yeah. Ooh. Um, Victoria meant that you need um, extra charge, extra change on you to pay corrupt police. Oh, okay. Well. Stop or running not. red lights. Stop running red lights. Stop going through them lights and you yeah. won't have to. Or turning around in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. going to pay for jobs every month instead of every two weeks or every week. <clears throat> Excuse me. I worked for a job once that I got paid every month. So, I, in the States. <laughs> so, you know. And thank you. Um, what is the name there? Osman. I don't know how to say that. Renee wants to know if it's government imposed sales tax or just one that's made up by the business owners. They that's crack it down. That's yeah, the government. Yeah, the government crack it down right now. They were sh they were closing like GRA, going to they turned the lights off at the airport. Oh, they 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 hitting all the legal. Hey, they want their money here. Your money right now. They closing stuff, closing up shops, painting them down and stuff. Y'all pay us. Oh, oh goodness. Mm. Uh, well, Holly just likes to cause problems. Mm. I guess you never had a big contract in Ghana if you've never had to be had to bribe. Yo, man, we can have just private conversations. We're just regular people. Yeah, we're just regular people, man. We're just, we're we're just big time. We got a big contract. We got man. But look at us. We're the poorest from from America, <laughs> living off of the Ghana people. Thank you, Ghana stop, people. Stop calling us the poorest. Oh, my gosh, that was terrible. Well, that's what he said. Is moving we're the poor people. <laughs> Tony, oh. what's the budget room in your Airbnb? Well, if you, you go to www.expatlifegana.com, www .expatlifegana you can see all the rooms we have to offer at our lodge. The budget room is the is the king terrace room. It has a king bed, um, a that's one with the terrace with the screened in terrace. Yes, and um, you know, big bathroom. There's pictures online. 
Yeah, Just so check go them check out. it out. The it's prices are all church. listed, and you can search for the dates that you need. Um, GIPC says they're making it easy for African Americans to set up their businesses. I don't know who is all these people doing this stuff, but it's now. I, 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 well, I, it, it's a good thing because a lot of people come here with business ideas, oh yeah. and they're the. The and things, the skills to make them happen. Yeah, and the thing stopping them is the red tape of them being um, from the states or, or, or out of the country, from out of the country, coming here trying to start a business. And you know, going through all that red tape, it it really slows people down and and stops them from thinking that they want to come here and and open up businesses. So yep. hearing that they're making it easier, that's a great thing. Yep. Um, Wahala, well, cause some troubles. Are you renting or did you invest? Why? Are you looking to help us out because we're poor? Please. <laughs> I tell you what, did he you do a one of, tell you what, man? You asked too many questions. You got to send us one of those super chats. Super we're not answering anymore until we get a super chat from you. Looks like France is making a lot of enemies on the continent. What's going on? Well, they've um, already had they're not well, they're, they're they're trying to hold on to colonizing countries in Africa still, and those colonized countries are like, yo, that time was over. Get out of our country now. We got this. So that's yeah. what's happening. And interestingly enough, Ghana is surrounded by French-speaking countries yep. to the north, south, and or to the south, north, east, and west. So maybe France. Anyway, I won't say anything about yeah, that. I mean, that. Thank you, Christina. Zan. Appreciate that. <laughs> um, I was at the shop and they put chains on the. They sure did. They want their tax money. Yeah. And Kwame, yeah. and Kwame just told us the breakdown. Where did I see that? Then I clicked and now it's gone. Oh no. Oh, there it is. Taxes, e levy, COVID tax, VAT, import duties. Yeah. At that. Oh man. When I tell you, whoo. What was that? You were looking at the pork. Luke and I, because I was like, Luke, get a calculator. I read the taxes that they're putting on imports so if you want to clear something you shipped out of the port if you have import taxation obligations we calculated it out and it was 69 percent so if you bought something for a hundred dollars through the port you're going to pay 69 dollars in tax to get it out mm -hmm. 69 dollars 69 percent that is insanity so yeah yeah <laughs> yeah um some people are saying they've heard about this multiple tax and that and yeah you great. flip through those taxes you're like what is this some of them are listed twice I, I, why does that happen that's why when i look at my receipt i'm always like what is going on how come there's two covid taxes covid tax why is there still a covid tax oh, oh yeah yeah um, greetings to all the Queen and I will be in Cape Coast in December flying on Cap Portugal from Indianapolis, but catching it through O'Hare. Okay. That sounds like that sounds like a lot of airports. I, You'll be it'll be great. Yeah. It'll be great. I just saw something. Somebody's <clears throat> in party or something. You saw the word party? I thought I did. Please um like the live, everyone who's watching. Yes. Yes, like if the you're live. Watching, hit that like oh, button. Two, for three, right three. Now. What is that? Um, uh, oh, is that Ricky Morrison again? Uh, oh, oh, Rick, hey, Ladybug. Ah, uh, don't call Ricky out. I, I was in two, three, three one day. I was like, yo, they look like Ricky Morrison <laughs> over there. I'm like, oh, it's Ricky Morrison over there. Hey, y'all just don't know Ricky. Pretty Ricky, what they call him. Uh, no, I'm. <laughs> you, you don't even know about that. That's, That's why I don't go outside. Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> Rick, yeah. Ricky gets out. Ricky's all around. Uh, Ghana. Oh. oh my gosh. Uh, greetings. Do you know anything about the mental health counseling there? As in, what are the requirements? I cannot tell you any of the requirements, but it would be just like if you were going from another country into the United States. You might come into the U.S. as a doctor trained with experience, but you still don't have to go to med school. So any of the requirements that uh, are applicable here, you would have to find out through the authorizing agency, but assume that you are going to have to be Authorized through the authorizing agency. It is so funny. They got, they're over here trying to get people to run for president. Mm, it's getting serious. Sixty nine percent. Who's talking about they want to? Who trying to run for president? 
uh, Py and uh, Kwame are having a side conversation. Oh. Them have their conversation. You think you make up and dress segment showing her clothes and Tony's t-shirt. We were doing those for a while. We were showing our clothes a little more, but maybe we should go get something made. I have to get something made for a work thing. Maybe I will take you along. Hmm? Yeah? Right? I don't. I just wear nice shirts. I don't. I just... <laughs> anyway, uh, what's next? Because we got to uh, shut this it. down in I about think... 10 minutes. I got to get to Passions tonight. We got uh, Sean and Natasha in town. Their last night, they're over at Passions. I told them I'd slide over there. And um, once the band leaves around 12, then we slide over to Green's Lounge. Yes, I still hang out at Green's Lounge, people. <laughs> um, they, have, they have ribs there. So. And that's and that's, and that's where that's it. Where I go. Um, I do have to say, we are still trying to push our group specials. Uh, you had a group of 53 or 54 mm -hmm. um, Korean. Yeah. Was it, were they Korean? Yes, they were. Thank you, uh, Susan. Susan Kim. I have to say that the video that you showed me of them out in Cape Coast um, dancing at the... the you, you can't... I, can't uh, I was about to show you on my phone. You're looking at this man. Oh, it was a great time. Y'all were adorable. You looked like you had so much fun. I loved it. Yeah. So I, that was your that was your biggest group to date. Mm -hmm. So if you are out there and you are part of a sorority, part of a fraternity, you are part of a youth group organization or church organization, and you want your people to experience what it is like to come to Africa and do it the right way, mm -hmm. that's your guy right there. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the more people you have, the lower the price gets. That's a good thing. So definitely look into that. If you would like more information, go ahead and visit us at www.expatlifeghana.com. Or if you would like a custom quote, email us at hello at expatlifeghana.com. You do that so well. You do that so well. That's all I get to do. All right. And I think I think that's a wrap for Yeah, us. we're going to have to get out of here. Tony, you date you. I'm day. <laughs> we're, so we're, um, we are. Gonna, we do, do everything. Yeah, do we, everything? we've done all the things. So what else do we have coming up? There, oh, December, we're going to have a lot, um, a meet and greet in December. Not sure the date yet. We'll announce that in um, November's live. Um, what else do we have coming up? You're trying not to, you know, you can't over schedule in December. No, it's going to be early. It's going to be, yeah, we only got one event happening yeah, in December. Like, Other than that, I'm going to be out partying. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to Afro Future. Um, Davido is one of my favorite. Um, uh, I don't know if he's uh, Afro Pop or Afro. He's one of my favorite African artists. And uh, Black Sharif, um, if you don't know Black Sharif, um, Koi Koo the Traveler. Um, into yeah, I, I'm, just, hey, I'm just saying, you know, I, I love Ghanaian music. Um, so I'm looking forward to this concert. A couple of my favorite artists. So Afro Future, December 28th square. and 29th. Be there or be square. Yep. And other than that, is that it? Shoo. We appreciate everybody hanging out with us tonight. Don't forget to hit the like button. And subscribe and all that stuff. And with that. Charlie out for now. Okay. So. Yeah. so you think we're gonna get back last from that guy? I don't know. I, I maybe we shouldn't have called him out. You think I like, know. Hey, I was trying to be nice. We were trying to be nice. Um, I thought we were nice. We weren't mean. In the we first video, we were being nice. I didn't want to mention nothing about his name or anything like that. In this video, we put his whole stuff up there. Well, I mean, we're, we we have to give him credit. He yeah. produced content that we discussed, yeah. and we should give him credit. Yeah. Oh, definitely. We're to give him credit for not knowing what he's talking about. But hey, if he is out there, I, hey. Come to Ghana and be like, yo, Tony, I'm in Ghana, man. Now you don't show me. Yeah, I'll show you. I'm nothing important enough to pick you up. You can email us at hello at expatlifeghana.com and we will go live with you. Would you would you go ahead to him and I, oh, live? Yeah, I would. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna bring him in live and I'll be the moderator. <laughs> like so you said just the poors are coming here, huh? Are we the poor? Are we the poor? Are we the poor? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get out of here and meet these people. So 
Johan Palme. <laughs>